Jones, it's time to welcome Morning Talk Show Broker Associate Jennifer Burke. 8.36 at News Radio WCCF, 1580 on your AM dial 100.9 MLS on your FM dial. Good morning and welcome back to Sunrise Charlotte County on this Friday morning, May 6th. It is time now to welcome our Morning Talk Show without Broker Associate Jennifer Tversky. We do have... Realtor Philip Rispoli, the other half of the dynamic duo. Woo! Yeah, he's flying high this morning, folks. Working out of the Remax Anchor office in Punta Gorda, representing the multi MLS home search engine, mydigitallisting.com. It's an all male review this morning. Morning, Philip. Man, we're on the top of the game today, man. We I'm just really moving, are. And, moving and grooving to the funky beat. I mean, to have this control is unbelievable. It's I mean, all, there's no, it's there's, all no you. there's nobody else around. No, all the phone calls, all the text messages, everything is routed to me. All you started out at seven thirty in the morning. Ooh, beep beep, yuck, boop boop. Oh, that's so. Was great. That's so wrong in so many ways on a Friday. You know, I already went to Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Monica. I didn't know about this. Uh-huh. Monica, what's this? It's 7.30 in the morning as we're driving over to here. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm uh, I'm in the driver's seat. Jennifer's uh, in the air. I think she just landed in uh, Atlanta on her way to South Carolina. Oh, so nice. So she's got a girl nice. girl weekend out with my daughter and the grandbaby. And Good for her. So uh, Mother's Day, you know, at the spa in Charleston. Nice. You know what I mean? So, yeah, nice. yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. And, uh, you know. Papa Bear is going to be home, you know, kind of... Getting all her phone hold, messages, hold, hold, right? Holding down the fort, doing multiple open houses by myself, you know what I mean? So it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, we're here, man. I'm ready to rock. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But, hey, we're glad to have you in and glad that, uh, you know, you, you are holding down the fort and we can uh, <laughs> keep up with everything that's happening in the world the last, of Philip. The, the last time Jennifer did this to me, I because I, I wasn't prepared. Right, you know, I had I didn't know as much as I know now, and I don't know that much. I mean, Jennifer really runs the whole show. Well, I just, yeah, I just we do know the listing that. stuff, right? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, she, <laughs> the she, the first time it came in, the phones were just off the hook, and so I kept asking for help on certain things that I didn't know what was going on, and I was text her, and then like the text would come back, and I didn't realize she literally transferred everything that anything that went to her automatically came back to me. Oh, my goodness. So every text message just just routed back and came back to me. She never got them. I had no idea. So, yeah, I was on my own. Now mm-hmm. I know what to expect. Mm-hmm. So I made sure I had the Calvary behind me. Well, I will be very <laughs> interested to hear about all the, uh, the adventures that this week is going to entail. But uh, let's talk about what's happening with the market right now. So, look, it's, uh, it's slowing down. You know, we're... Uh, we're really seeing the heat of uh, inflation, you know, really hit its ugly head. It's mm-hmm. everywhere in the news now. I mean, the oh, thing yeah. before was this thing called transitory about two months ago, and it wasn't a big deal to now the Fed's going to step up in a big way. Yesterday, 50 basis points just popped out, right? So oh, not yesterday, Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they came out with that. You know, the market took a tumble, then recovered, you know, so the, the markets are just kind of up in the air. But that inflation is really killing everybody. Yeah. Um, the... Um, like I said, the interest rates uh, continue to rise another 50 basis points. That doesn't mean that it's directly going to make the uh, interest rates go because the day after the interest rates actually came down slightly. But now they're they're starting to move up again. You know? And that's making a big deal for every, everybody. You know, you're starting to hear more about um, adjustable loans. You haven't heard about them for four, five, six years. I mm-hmm. mean, they just didn't exist right. because the interest rates were so low. And now you got people starting to think that that might be the right way to – make some moves to still get into the market. You know, one of the things that's so different than the 2008 time frame is that that you have a lot of good loans out there. Not all of them because I'm starting to see that there's a bunch of um, foreclosures starting to happen, right? Nobody's talking about it, but I just read some articles about it, and I'm, I'm not prepared to have a conversation about right, it yet right. until I get some more information. Yeah, but, sure. But that's going to start to happen. We're going to start to see that. Um, but we don't, we, we have better loans out there. There's a lot more equity in the people's homes, Mm -hmm. you know, so we have to find a way to kind of, you know, move this thing off so that we can at least, you know, have a good base. There may be a little bit of a, a lull and maybe a little bit of a tip down, but, uh, we still should be strong because, you know, we, we just have so many homes that people need, Sure. you know, so, so I think we're going to see that kind of thing. Another thing that that also gives us a great indicator is looking at the, the uh, mortgage guys, Mm -hmm. the lenders, right? They've already started to have the layoffs. 
right? So because their their refis are down 60% or so, they're, at least that's the prediction that's going to happen. 66% is what they're predicting this year. Right. Um, I, every lender that I know is slow. Most of them throughout the country, they've had their weakest month in the last three years, right? So so that's the other indication that yeah. you hear. You don't hear that, you know, our funnels are still going. We still did five sales. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? We did three new listings this week. So I'm not saying that we're not busy. <laughs> right. Um, but this is, that's not reality for the general public right now. And that's right. going to slow up for us too. Um, you know, another a good indicator is NAR, the our trade organization, lost 30,000 people since the beginning of the year, mm. right? So that's a great indication that new people didn't put in their dues, you know, to go forward because guess what? They're not, those are the new people who are coming in or older people that have been a couple of years are still not making money. Things are getting tough. It's not that easy deal right now that you can uh, do a deal just on a matchbook cover, right? right. So, um, so we're seeing that kind of stuff happening out there. So there's some struggles. Um, new listings are popping up. So we're starting to see some inventory start to build. If I just go back to our home ground, just in, in Burnstone Marina, right. we've, we for months in, in for the last almost 18 months, maybe two years, we were averaging two, three, four listings, which is ridiculous. We used to have 24, 27. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're up to 17. And that literally just happened in two weeks. Really? Yeah, because two weeks ago we had four. You know what I mean? And now we've got 17. And right. the other interesting thing is, is it's not all from the same local people. So we have listings coming in. It's friends, family, and fool day. So we still have a lot of new agents putting one up. You know, and you look at them, they're not even from our area. So there's still a lot of agents out there. There's stuff coming up and, and going. And uh, and so we're seeing the market start to, to do that. One other thing that I'll, I'll talk about is the upscale homes. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing a bigger surge in that side of it. So we've get, we're getting more million dollar listings. Those listings are selling. So all that we had $3 million listings, all three of those are off the market now because we've got contracts. The ones that the 822 we put on the market last Friday were sold on Monday. So the idea that stuff is, is lingering on the market for a long time, not the right properties. The higher end properties are, are moving pretty quick. Um, and those are cash. So they're not waiting. They're not looking at the market and not looking at those interest rates. And, and people are just actually putting down, you know, a million dollars in cash and making the deal happen. So wow. so that's the kind of stuff that we have going on out there. So it's exciting in some ways. It's going to hurt some people right. in, in some other ways. But that's just the way the market is. We just need to – we need some administration to – literally, we need the administration to help make this really right. The Fed is now on this other hawk, hawkish – side of the table, right? Mm-hmm. So they're talking about we're going to have to really jam, you know, interest rates, you know, to be able to bring that inflation down. Uh, but the only thing holding this market together is the housing. Right. And so if housing gets hurt, then the rest of the market's going to be hurt pretty good. So I think there's going to be a, a fine balancing line out there. Um, I think the more listings coming up because people are on that edge of, did I miss it? Yeah. You know, how bad did I miss it? You know, I'm not getting that insane number from them you know the uh uh the new york you know mm, i gotta have the, right. the the winning number you know what was his name hans or whatever that guy is on million dollar listings so right everybody i want one of those houses <laughs> no man you can't do that now you know so you got to be real about it and you can't just you know go thirty thousand above and think you're gonna have a, a bidding war so that's what we're seeing out there it's uh it's active as you can see i'm still hyper about it because i think the market's still there for our taking and uh You'd be hyper actually, if there was one house for sale in this market. So listen, don't, don't man, go there. I'm, Come I'm on. A, I'm a creator. I really am. You are I mean, a creator. So, so my whole gig is the is the challenge to do what set people say you can't do. There you go. Tell me you can't do it, and I just go, oh, boy. Okay. Don't ask me to do something you don't want to have happen. Hold my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so did you, uh, did you have that encounter with uh, Albert the Alligator last week? <laughs> I did. Did you? I and did. you lived to tell so, about so it. I, I didn't send you the, the the link to it. Yeah, I got to so, see this. So, so it was it was really good. It wasn't it wasn't Albert. It was Dale Junior. Oh, okay. So Dale Junior was eleven hundred pounds, <laughs> oh thirteen God. and a half feet long. No, so we did the trip, and the trip was phenomenal. Was I mean, it? yeah. So, um, you know, we we got to learn about the alligators. We got to learn that they're they're not aggressive. You know, by nature, they only the ones that get aggressive are the ones that get fed. You know what I mean? They so, have no so fear. Every, yeah. every other one is actually afraid of you, mm-hmm. right? So so you learn that, you know? And and then you get to see them in their habitat up and down the Peace River, you know, kind of 
you know, warming out mm-hmm. in, in the water, uh, which cool. It was my first time really on an airboat. So taking off from dry sand on a boat was kind of like, different. Uh, really? Yeah. And, and then we find out that we got the lowest uh, water in the Peace River. And so we were in like six inches of water. Oh, wow. And we're going like 30, 40 miles an hour. And I'm just going, this is this is crazy. Yeah, awesome. You know? So it was, it was really awesome. Uh, we learned a lot about the place. And, um, and I forgot the name of it off the top of my head, but I'll, I'll remember it in, after, okay. in the break and, and mention it. Cool. But yeah, great, great time and took great pictures. And I ended up wrestling. Um, I, got, I learned how to wrestle, how to kind of duck, move, uh, you know, f- f- get on their blind side, you know, tuck and roll. So they taught me all the techniques. Uh, and in the uh, film, you you see me at the end, uh, you know, having and, a battle. And, and people call me crazy for working for Mike Tyson. And you're out there <laughs> wrestling alligators. Okay, yeah. I a see city how boy, that right? goes. Who are you? I'm Philip. I'm from Concrete, you know. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. Uh, now, you also uh, have started working uh, with Tina. Oh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Your your new secret weapon. So so it is. You know. So so we've done a couple of things. So I have. I'm in this whole Reiki. You know, moment uh-huh. in my life, and I, I never knew what that was. Uh, and then after I kind of had the. You know, we met Tina and and Brandon, and found out Tina's an instructor, a practitioner, right? Uh, I should say. And then, um, you know, it's about energy healing, right? And so kind of, I've been involved in that myself without any outside influence right that's kind of been my life mm-hmm. you know it's kind of, that's how it, my beliefs are and then to find somebody that actually there's a practice around that like i had no idea so of course i had to go check it out so i had my first one two weeks ago and i had a, another one just this past thursday which was if anybody's ever you know not done it or got involved in it go check it out um, meta 039 Go to Tina, tell, tell her Philip sent you, you know, and just experience it at least once. Just, you know, it's non-evasive. It, there's nothing to it that way. It's about an hour's worth of time. But uh, for me, it's, uh, the, it was not just spiritual, but but mentally was phenomenal. Um, but so I'm saying this, but I want to make sure everybody out there, there's no other realtors can do it because I sewed her up. I've got there a contract you go. with her. Nice. That it's exclusive. Hey. That no realtors else can. can no, I'm it's only, all I'm, about I'm, business. I'm only, huh? I'm only joking. <laughs> but uh, it is. It is a secret weapon for me. So I, I'm, I can't wait to allow it to help me crush the competition. Well, you can <laughs> you can start crushing the competition by giving us contact information, oh, man, sir. Let me go get that. So. Uh, you want to get in touch with? Let me go through the papers. Hang on a second. This is what New York. This is why this, we normally this, have yeah, Jennifer yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, Jennifer's really got the other yeah. side of the coin. So, so if you want to get in touch with us, <laughs> you can contact Jennifer at eight five eight five three hundred nine four eight three. My number is six zero three four seven nine one two five nine. Or you can get us on our marketing line nine four one two one nine five six five nine. We're on mydigitallisting.com and Radio One Southwest Florida. That's how you do it. That's yeah. how it's done. Hi, I'm Jennifer. And I'm Philip. And we're with MyDigitalListing.com, and we have a wonderful listing program that's as easy as one, two, three. That's right, Jennifer. One, we take 1% to list your home. Two, we give 2% to any buyer agent that brings a buyer. Three, that's the overall amount of percent that you actually save by doing business with us. And not only that, you get our full platinum service, which includes custom professional photography, 360 virtual tour, drone photography and video, free home pre-inspections. We are also members of two real estate boards. You also receive expert social media marketing, and we are on weekly radio shows that airs live on iHeartMedia. So if you're looking for more information, please give us a call. 941-219-5659. And also check us out on mydigitallisting.com. Listings. Yep, yep. We're we're in deep water right now, so uh, I've got a snorkel on. All right, so the first one, we got a brand new listing. It's 25234 Estrada Circle. That's a brand new build. So we got a brand new builder on our team. It's going to give us all of his new builds, mm. so we're really excited about nice. that. So this one is ready for you today, so it'll be up today. People can see it over the weekend. Cool. This is brand new uh, home in Burnstore Villages, and it will wow you. This is a three-bedroom home with a great room, uh, a, a designated dining room that can also be a home office or a den, large bathrooms, both the great rooms and the master bath have lighted double tray ceilings, so there's some really nice upgrades uh, in this place. We have oversized garage, it's a two-car garage, but it's 
two and a half feet extra deep. It's a little bit higher and it's wider. So it's not your standard two car garage out there. So this is this is unique. All the new homes in there have the smaller two car garages. So this is really exciting. Uh, it's 25 foot depth is what it really is. So you can put a lot of toys in there, right? So boats, some of the boats will fit in there too. Anyway, call for private showing. Don't uh, don't wait for this build. It's not going to last. We have it at a very attractive price of four ninety eight nine. This is uh, an eight 1800 square foot home. So this wow. is a nice size home. Yeah. All right. We've got uh, some stuff in Burnstorm Marina. We got 3270 South Shore Drive, number 73B. Uh, you'll enjoy the best of the morning and the evening hours with this unsurpassed view, waterfront view. You've got a 32 by 16 foot lanai extension, uh, which comes off the living room, which brings a total area to about 2,600 square feet. So it's a nice size place. It's a second floor location. So you got a nice view of the harbor out there. Um, you can really be wowed by this thing because it's been fully updated. And as a matter of fact, it was our refurbishing team that went in there and we totally gutted that place nice um so it, everything is brand spanking new the house was bought the apartment was bought about uh, a year ago we finished about uh, four or five months ago they they just spent the time here in season and decided that they're going to buy a single family home so this is up on the market big master suite the hallways have been the ceilings have been raised so so everything's brand spanking new all led stuff all new doors hinges everything in the place has been totally re redone. Um, it, it's unbelievable. Kitchen has all new appliances and a walk-in pantry, and that's at a great price at seven fifty nine, seven hundred fifty nine thousand. We've got one on Cape Horn Boulevard. That's one seven four one nine. Don't hesitate about this gem. This is a great one because it's in uh, Burnt Store Lakes. Um, it is uh, situated on a large corner lot with a, a good sized uh, rear yard for extra privacy. It's got an oversized foyer. This one also has been gutted right down to the studs and totally rebuilt uh, by the owner. Uh, we weren't involved in that. That was prior to us. It's absolutely magnificent. So it's an older home, but when you know that it's been totally gutted, big open floor oh, yeah. plan, tile throughout, nice. it's, it's really amazing. It's got a big open great room. Uh, the nice thing about this place too is that you got room for a pool. It doesn't have a pool, but you have room for a pool. And we actually had a survey for it and brought a pool company in, so we got pricing for it. So you guys want to get in on a good deal. That's 529000 so it's a great deal. You add a pool for 45 50 grand you got a great house under 600,000 in Burnt Store Lakes you can't even buy one like that no. No. so wow. that gives you that we got another one in Burnt Store Marina 3270 South Shore Drive this is another waterfront property we have 73B this is 72B ah. we got the neighbor okay right? so don't pass this one up either this is another one that's been fully updated it's a second floor right because it's right next door same size oversized um uh, Lanai 16 by 32. It's everything is fully tiled in this. Um, in plaque sliders, uh, unobstructed views of the harbor. The, uh, it's a little bit further over to the harbor opening, so it's got a little bit bigger, better view. You just see this time of year, sunsets in the west are just phenomenal uh, from there. Um, you got tray ceilings in there, solid surface counters, tiled uh, backsplashes, remodeled baths after uh, some uh, warm wood cabinetry, along with upgraded fixtures and granite counters. This one is at 739. So that's a great deal. Now we go back to um, on the East Coast a little bit because one of James's uh, listings, we've got 510 Pinewood Drive in Davenport. This is a two-story, five-bedroom, three-bat, two-car uh, pool home on mm. a quiet cul-de-sac. This is a big place. Yeah. And I'll go through it really quick. It's live right now, uh, so we're looking to get that moved. Um, you gotta, If you want to see that one, call James Rispoli at... 585-356-1811 for more information. That's a hot property right now. It's selling for five fifty nine thousand. dollars That's an amazing price for a property that size. Nice. We've got another one in Burnt Storm Marina, and that is Dolphin Cove, 24550 Dolphin Cove Drive. This is a beautiful home. This has been fully updated as well. All brand new tile in it, brand new pool, uh, Pebble Tech, high-end Pebble Tech, all new appliances in it. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath, two-car garage. Again, one of those perfect kind of homes uh, that you want. Um, separate laundry, uh, laundry room provides entry to a two-car garage, endless hours of entertaining in the pool in the lanai. And, of course, it's in Burnstone Marina, 27 holes of golf, two you got the big marina out there, you know, all that nice stuff that's out there. This one's listed at a, at a very attractive price as well. It's seven sixty nine thousand. dollars All right. Give us your contact information one information, more time, any sir. Any more information that you want, uh, please contact Jennifer or Philip, and you can get Jennifer at 585-300-9483. 
Philip at 603-479-1259. And then our main marketing line, 941-219-5659, mydigitallisting.com, radio1southwestflorida.com. We, we've got to get up somewhere where people can see you in the alligator. I, that's just, that's got to be spread I'm out. I'm doing it, man. We, I'm going to send you the link today, and then we're going to just... Pew!